the Holy Rosary is the weapon. It is the battering ram. The battering ram of what? The kingdom of God against the gates of hell. The rosary is central to Catholic piety, and yet our Protestant friends, our evangelical friends, they don't get it. They're like, why are you worshiping Mary? Why are you talking to Mary? Uh, Mary's dead. Why would you talk to her? It's all about Jesus. We agree. It is all about Jesus. But there is a principle that you see in Scripture. You even see it foretold in the Old Testament. The Blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints, all the angels, all the people in heaven can hear us on earth. Why? Because they're gods? Nope, they're not gods. Why can they hear us? Because they are united perfectly to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who is the one mediator between God and men. You don't believe me? Go check out the book of Revelation, the Apocalypse. By the way, I just authored a new best-selling book, Antichrist and Apocalypse. It's a full commentary on the book of Revelation and what the Catholic Church teaches on the Antichrist. It's a number one bestseller this week in Christian theology and New Testament uh, commentaries. Check it out. But in the book of Revelation, we see in heaven the saints, the human saints, and the angels in heaven with Jesus Christ, the King of Kings, the high priest, can see and hear what is going on down on planet Earth. It's in the book of Revelations, in the Apocalypse. That means everyone in heaven, if God gives them the power, which he does, gives them the power to hear and see what's going on here. This is why the epistle of Hebrews says, we are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses talking about human saints. Right now, you and I are surrounded by a great cloud of witnesses. The Blessed Virgin Mary, St. Joseph, St. John the Baptist, St. Peter and Paul, St. Michael the Archangel. Every person in heaven can hear us. That is why we ask Our Lady and the saints to pray for us. Now, today is the Feast of Our Lady of the Rosary. And today at 2 p.m. Central, I'll be leading a live rosary here on YouTube. Please join me. At 3 o'clock, I'll be giving away this beautiful seraphim heirloom rosary, handcrafted, gorgeous, worth several hundred dollars, heavy, amazing. That'll be at 3 o'clock. If you want to be in on that uh, giveaway, all of my students at New St. Thomas Institute and everyone who is a supporter over at patreon.com forward slash DR Taylor Marshall will be in on that drawing. Okay, let's get to the quotes. 19 powerful quotes on the rosary. Now, the first, I didn't even include this in the 19, but the first most powerful quote is the quote of the Virgin Mary to St. Dominic in the 1200s, where she says this, Dear Dominic, do you know which weapon, keyword weapon, the Blessed Trinity wants us to use to reform the world? Dominic answered that he that she would know better than him. Mary responded, get this, quote, and I'm reading from my book, Rosary in 50 Pages. I want you to know that in this kind of warfare, the battering ram has always been the angelic psalter, which is the foundation stone of the New Testament. Therefore, if you want to reach these hardened souls and win them over to God, preach my psalter, end quote. What is the Virgin Mary psalter? Well, as you know, in the early church, well, going back even to the Old Testament, the people of God recited the 150 Psalms. The 150 Psalms are called the Psalter. P-S-A-L-T-E-R. It's Greek. Psalms. Songs that are played with a musical accompaniment. The Greek word, where we get the word psalm, means to pluck or to strum. So she says that her 150 psalms, her psalter, well, what is that? Well, 
peasant people, illiterate people, unlike the monks, could not memorize the 150 psalms. And even if you were illiterate, like you and I are most likely, we have not memorized the 150 psalms. So how could we recite the 150 psalms every single day? We couldn't. So there was a very popular devotion going back into 300s, 400s, 500s, where people would pray 150 Our Fathers, the Lord's Prayer, or 150 angelic salutations, that is the Hail Mary, which goes like this. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Later on, in the medieval era, a second part of that prayer was added, which goes like this. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Why? Because Mary is the Mother of God. She's not a mother goddess. She's the mother of Jesus Christ, who is God the Son. She's not the mother of the Eternal Father. She's not the mother of the Holy Ghost. She is the mother of God the Son, His divine person. She's also the new Eve. We are in sin, original sin, because of Adam and Eve. We are in righteousness, justified because of what the new Adam did for us. But a new Adam entails a new Eve. And that is the Blessed Virgin Mary. Eve stretched forth her hand and partook of the fruit that led us into sin. And yet, in Scripture, in Luke's Gospel, we read, Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. The new Eve provides the new fruit. It's not an apple. It's not an avocado. It's not a pomegranate. It's Jesus Christ. And how do we receive him, we receive him in the Holy Eucharist through the sacrifice of the Mass. All right, let's run down these 19 powerful, beautiful quotes about the Holy Rosary. And all these are on page 34 and 35 of my book, The Rosary in 50 Pages. And I'll explain at the end of the show how and why I will send you one of these in the mail for free, signed, and a rosary. Number one, Blessed Alan de Roche, or as some people say, Alanis de Rupe. Quote, if you preserve in reciting the rosary, this will be a most probable sign of your eternal salvation. Pray the rosary every day. That's a probable sign that you will be saved in eternity. Do you want that? I want that. Number two, the greatest method of praying is to pray the rosary. St. Francis de Sales. Best way to pray? Pray the rosary. I don't know about you, but I can't. I mean, sometimes I can, but very rarely can I persevere to just pray for 20 to 30 minutes. It's very difficult. With the rosary, I can pray 20 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes, sometimes 45 minutes. Next quote, St. Louis de Montfort. Never will anyone who says his rosary every day be led astray. This is a statement that I would gladly sign with my blood. You want to avoid error? You want to avoid heresy? Pray the rosary every day. Number four, also from St. Louis de Montfort. When the Holy Rosary is well said, it gives Jesus and Mary more glory and is more meritorious than any other prayer. Now, we know that the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass is the most meritorious. Why? Because the Mass is the prayer of Jesus Christ as High Priest, offering His own body, blood, soul, divinity to God the Father in the unity of the Holy Ghost. Okay, but that's a divine act that we get to participate in. Our own prayers, the most powerful prayer, says St. Louis de Montfort, the most meritorious prayer is the rosary. So make sure you pray in your rosary. Next, also from St. Louis de Montfort. If you say the rosary faithfully unto death, I do assure you that in spite of the gravity of your sins, you will receive a never fading crown of glory. You have a lot of sins. You have a lot of mortal sins. Are you plagued by guilt? Go to confession, of course. That's the ordinary means, sacramental means. But pray the rosary. 
every day. And he says here, faithfully unto death. Every day until you die. Life is short. Next quote, also from St. Louis de Montfort. The rosary is a priceless treasure inspired by God. Priceless treasure. What if I were to tell you, hey, there's this pot of gold or this uh, vault of money. Here's the key. Here's the location. It's yours. Here's the crypto wallet with 20 billion of Bitcoin in it. Here's the key. Here's how you get it. Would you just say, eh, it's kind of not for me? No. You would run to that pot of gold. You would open up that vault. You'd open up that wallet. Get that treasure. This is a priceless treasure given by heaven to us. Are you going to walk by and neglect it? No. We're going to pray it every day. Next quote, St. Louis de Montfort. Recite your rosary with faith, with humility, with confidence, and with perseverance. How do you recite your rosary? You got to believe what Jesus taught. You have to be humble. That means you don't think too highly of yourself. You're not prideful. And you need to have confidence. Confidence what? That God hears you. Next one. This is from Pope Pius IX. You want some papal teaching? Here's some papal teaching. Quote, Give me an army saying the rosary and I will conquer the world. Do you believe that? Are you part of that army? Are you part of that army once a week or every day? Next quote. This is Pope Leo XIII. The rosary is the most excellent form of prayer and the most efficacious means of attaining eternal life. It is the remedy for all our evils, the root of all our blessings. There is no more excellent way of praying, end quote. What's the most excellent way to pray the rosary? Part of that is when the apostles said to Christ, Lord, teach us to pray. What did he say? Our Father, who art in heaven. He gave them the Our Father, right? And then the other prayer that we have from the scriptures is from Luke chapter 1, where the angel comes to the Virgin Mary at the beginning of the New Testament to kick off the entire New Testament and says, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. And then Elizabeth says, Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. We are reciting scripture over and over and over these are divinely instituted, inspired by the Holy Ghost. Next quote is from Pope St. Pius X. Love Pius X. He says, quote, Of all prayers, the rosary is the most beautiful and the richest in graces. Love the rosary and recite it every day with devotion. People say, Taylor, why do you say pray the rosary every day? That's not your call. I know it's not my call. But it's been said by all these saints. It's said by St. Pius X. He says, pray it every day. Our Lady came down at Fatima and said, pray it every day. Let's pray it every day. Next quote is from Pope Pius XI. We've had Pius IX, Pius X, now we're on Pius XI. Quote, the rosary is a powerful weapon to put the demons to flight and to keep oneself free from sin. If you desire peace in your hearts, in your homes, and in your country, assemble each evening to recite the rosary. Let not even one day pass without saying it, no matter how burdened you may have been with the cares and labors, end quote. So do you want peace in your heart? Peace in your home? In your family? Peace in your nation? Peace in America? Peace in wherever you live? Italy, France, Brazil, Germany, Nigeria, China, India, Russia, Ukraine. Pray the rosary. Now we move to Pope Pius XII. There is no sure means of calling down God's blessings upon the family than the daily recitation of the rosary. How do you call blessings on your family, dads, moms? 
There's no sure way. Pray the rosary every day. Now, Padre Pio, St. Pio. I know y'all love Pio. He says, Our Lady has never refused me a grace through the recitation of the rosary. Padre Pio also said, The rosary is the weapon for these times. Is this time sinful? Is this time confusing? Do we have political, social problems? Do we have all kinds of sexual problems, perversions, pornography, difficulties? Our youth are being taught all kinds of strange things. What is a woman? What is a man? He, she, they, them. What's the weapon for all of this? Padre Pio says it's the rosary. Padre Pio also says, quote, Some people are so foolish that they think they can go through life without the help of the mother, blessed mother. Love the Madonna and pray the rosary, for her rosary is the weapon against the evils of the world today. All graces given by God pass through the blessed mother, end quote. Mary is the aqueduct of grace. Christ merits all of it. He mediates all of it. But he has chosen his mother to enter into space and time. And he continues to distribute graces and gifts in that same manner. He came into space and time through Mary. All graces and gifts also come through Mary. That's the divine economy. Padre Pio also says, Go to the Madonna, love her, always say the rosary. Say it well. Say it as often as you can. Be souls of prayer. Never tire of praying. It is what is essential. Prayer shakes the heart of God. It obtains necessary graces. Archbishop Fulton Sheen says, The rosary is the book of the blind, where souls see and there enact the greatest drama of love the world has ever known. It is the book of the simple, which initiates them into mysteries and knowledge more satisfying than the education of other men. It is the book of the aged, whose eyes close up, close upon the shadow of this world and open on the substance of the next. The power of the rosary is beyond description, end quote, Archbishop Fulton Sheen. The next quote comes from St. Lucia, one of the three Fatima children, the seers. The most holy virgin in these last times in which we live has given a new efficacy to the recitation of the rosary to such an extent that there is no problem, no matter how difficult it is, whether temporal or above all spiritual, in the personal life of each one of us, of our families, that cannot be solved by the rosary. There is no problem, I tell you, no matter how difficult, that cannot be be resolved that we cannot resolve by the prayer of the Holy Rosary. All your problems, all your problems, take them to the Rosary and pray a Rosary every blessed day. Do you need a Rosary? I'll send you one. I'll explain it in just a moment. And then our 19th quote today is from Blessed Columba Marion, a Marmion, a Benedictine. And he says, Here's an example to help you understand the efficacy of the rosary. You remember the story of David who vanquished Goliath. What steps did the young Israelite take to overthrow the giant? He struck the giant in the middle of the forehead with a pebble from his sling. If we regard the Philistine as representing evil and all its powers, heresy, impurity, pride, we can consider the little stones from the sling capable of overthrowing the enemy as symbolizing the Hail Marys of the Rosary, end quote. As King David slew Goliath with a little sling, we are able to overcome evil by the power of this sling, the Rosary. All right, that's 19 quotes. One, Actually, one extra quote from the Virgin Mary. Uh, all of these are collected along with the history of the rosary, the theology of the rosary, and how to pray the rosary in English and in Latin in this small book, Rosary in 50 P.
pages. So pray your rosary every single day. I'll be back today here on YouTube at 2 p.m. I'll be leading a rosary. We'll do five decades together. And my wife has encouraged me, and we are doing it. We're already started. They're all downstairs. I am mailing out rosaries, good rosaries, and signed copies of the rosary in 50 pages, these two together, at patreon.com forward slash dr. Taylor Marshall. If you go there, there's a little package. It's $7. And for $7, I'm sending you a book that costs $17 and also a nice rosary. So I guess, you know, with shipping and all of it together, it's about close to 30 in value. And that's just a thank you for supporting the channel. And also, as my wife says, let's send out rosaries. We talk about it. Let's actually mail them out. So uh, she found some nice rosaries that are quality. And uh, we bought a ton of them. And we're going to try this for a month. And send out the book on how to pray the rosary, the history of the rosary, and then send you a nice rosary. And you can get all that at patreon.com forward slash DR Taylor Marshall. So for seven bucks... Uh, I mean, the shipping is like three fifty or something. Uh, for seven bucks, we're gonna get you the rosary in fifty pages, signed. I'm signing all these and sending you out a good rosary. Check it out, patreon dot com forward slash dr taylor marshall. And I'll later on today to all the patreons and. Students at New St. Thomas Institute, I'll be giving away this super duper nice rosary from Seraphim. It's an heirloom rosary. These are the kind of rosaries you give to people on their weddings, their ordinations, big events. It's absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. I'll be giving that away at 3 o'clock today. Live rosary at 2 o'clock today. Today is the Feast of the Rosary, October 7th. It's also the ninth anniversary of New St. Thomas Institute. That's where I teach online classes. If you want to learn more about that, you can go to newstthomas.com, newstthomas.com, take online courses with me. All right. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. Pray your rosary every single day, and we should go ahead and we'll pray a Hail Mary together in Latin before we sign off. Oremos. Nomini Patris et Fidi et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. Ave Maria, gratia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedicta tu in mulieribus et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Sancta Maria, Mater Dei, or pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et or mortis nostre. Amen. Our Lady of the Rosary, pray for us. Nomini Patris et Fidi, et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. All right, friends. Thanks for watching. Remember, our Lord Jesus Christ is the light of the world and the salt of the earth. So go out there and be salty. God bless. Godspeed. Happy Feast of the Holy Rosary. Stay tuned here on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook. We'll be doing a live rosary today at 2 p.m. Central. And I want all of you to join together with us. All right, thanks for watching and God bless.